Here I have 1979 Lincoln Sand and Brown circulated condition. Significant imprints of circulation are evident on either side. Central reliefs exhibit some wear on high points, but the prime distraction is that it's covered with tarnished stocks. Also, numerous contact marks are evident on both sides. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to hit subscribe and bell buttons below. In terms of scarcity, the 1979 Lincoln Sands are generally not considered rare or scarce. The United States Mint produced a significant number of these coins, and they were widely circulated at the time. As a result, finding them in circulation or in bulk quantities is relatively easy. Round Lincoln Sands are those that have developed patina or oxidation over time, resulting in a brownish color. In general, brown sands have lower demand and value compared to their red counterparts, as many collectors prefer the bright red appearance. Uncirculated red Lincoln scents are coins that have never been used in commerce and have maintained their original mint luster. The higher the grade and the quality of some circulated coins, the more valuable it tends to be. This is 1979 Lincoln scent in MS68 red condition. The Philadelphia Mint coined 6 billion Lincoln cents in 1979, yet only 12 pieces have been similarly certified at PCGS. This glowing orange superb gem has bold design motifs with frosty luster and sensational eye appeal. This is 2000 D Lincoln cent from our penny collection. Coin is in red average mint condition with vivid iridescent toning on selected areas, most non facial parts of the president. Surfaces of the fields are reflective and are void of large contact marks and blemishes. Horizontal dye polishing lines are evident on both sides. On the reverse, we see crisply struck device elements. There are some carbon freckles here and there, but overall eye appeal is not that bad. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to hit subscribe and bell buttons below. The 2000D cent, also known as Lincoln cent, is a coin that was minted in the United States in the year 2000 at the Denver Mint. The D-Mint mark indicates that it was produced at Denver Mint. In terms of rarity and value, the 2000 D-Cent is not considered to be particularly rare or valuable in uncirculated condition. This is because a large number of these coins were produced and they are relatively common in circulation. As a result, finding a 2000 D-Cent in uncirculated condition is not that difficult. However, it's worth noting that value of any coin can vary based on its condition and the demand from collectors. If you have a 2000 d cent in uncirculated condition and it exhibits exceptional qualities such as being free from scratch, nicks or blemishes, it may be more desirable to collectors. One of the most valuable specimens was sold in 2010. This is 2000 d Lincoln cent in MS69 red condition at the threshold of numismatic perfection. Tied for condition census on PCGS population report, it ended up selling for $2,415 at Stax Powers auction. The 1985 Lincoln Sand is not generally considered a valuable coin. The Lincoln Sand series, which includes the 1985 cent, is one of the most widely collected coins in the United States and large numbers were minted in 1985. In circulated conditions, the 1985 cent is typically worth its face value of 1 cent. However, it's worth noting that within any coin series, there can be specific rare varieties or errors that command higher values. So if you believe you may have a rare variety or error coin from 1985, it would be advisable to have it authenticated and appraised by a reputable coin dealer or professional numismatist to determine specific value. Also, preservation level plays a significant role in the value of the given coin, according to Jaime Hernandez. From PCGS, the 1985p Lincoln cent is very easy to find in circulation. Only in MS66 condition or higher is it scarce. In MS67 condition, it's a little more difficult to find, but with enough role searching, an example can be found. In MS68 condition, they are very difficult to find and it's probably easier to buy an example than to try and find one. MS68 gems are worth over $100, those with plus designation command strong premiums at auctions. For instance, this red superb gem in MS68 plus condition fetched a really good sum. The design elements exhibit razor sharp definition and the pristine original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster on both sides. 
It ended up selling for $5,875 at Heritage Auctions, 1992 Lincoln Sand and its highly sought after variety called Close AM. This is a circulated red and brown specimen from Coinas collection. Coin is in about uncirculated condition. Device elements are sharply struck and surfaces are mostly free from mentionable contact marks. Just few very tiny bag marks, which are seen only under close inspection, are present. But both sides feature strong dark grey patination, which could be a result of contact with wet fingers, humidity or other factors. Reverse side displays sharply struck reliefs as well. Here we have slight mechanical or strike doubling on some upper letterings, most obviously seen on ST and T of states. This coin is from wide AM variety, therefore worth just face value. These terms refer to the spacing between the letters A and M in the words America on the reverse. The close AM variety has letter A and M almost touching, while the wide AM variety has a noticeable gap between them. Close AM variety is considered to be rarer of the two. In terms of value, the close AM variety is more sought after by collectors and it sometimes commands strong premiums at auctions. This is 1992 close AM scent in MS67 red condition. The Mint introduced a new reverse for the Lincoln Center in 1993 and showed the A and M in America closely spaced at their bases instead of separated as in years past. However, beginning in 2006, sharp-eyed numismatists began to discover rare transitional 1992 and 1992 D cents struck with the 1993 reverse. The close AM cents have occasionally surfaced in circulation and bankrolls over the last decade. Both are rare varieties, but the Philadelphia variant is rarest. This coin showcases virtually flawless gleaming surfaces with rich gold, fire orange and rose red hues. The strike is sharp and there are no carbon spots. It ended up selling for $25,850 in 2017 at Heritage Auctions. Now you may be wondering what makes this coin so special. Well, nothing to be honest, this is just a circulated specimen from Coinas collection, brown and slightly tarnished example from Philadelphia Mint. Coin displays some circulation rub on the peaks of reliefs, but the fields are mostly free from mentionable contact marks. This pen is worth just little more than its face value, if we would consider copper melt value. The 1974 Lincoln cent was produced in large quantities, with over 4 billion coins minted that year. This high mintage number makes them readily available and keeps their value relatively low. In terms of high grades such as mint state condition, the 1974 Lincoln cents do not command significant premiums. While some collectors may seek out examples in pristine condition for their collection, there is not a high demand for these coins in the numismatic market. Therefore, their value in the high grades remain relatively modest. However, Starting from MS67 grade, they are starting fetching up pretty good sums at auctions. They are very hard to find. MS67 plus specimens are scarcer and have a guiding price of $850. Super rare grade is MS68. PCGS reported just three specimens in that grade with none finer. Guiding price is $6,500. One of the most expensive specimens sold at auction is its MS68 red gem. The surfaces exhibit copper orange coloration and sharp strike definition with no mentionable blemishes or contact marks. It ended up selling for $9,281.25 in 2020. Thanks for joining us today and exploring the intriguing world of 1974 Lincoln Sands. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more captivating coin stories. Happy collecting!